I painted something? I was like seven. How do you do this? Let's paint. Painting ceilings is the worst thing ever. I look like, like in my eyes too. You can see the paint in my eyes. I love my freckles, natural. As you can see, I taped like two seconds. I taped for like two seconds. I don't know how you tape two seconds. And then I got lazy and I think I'm just gonna freehand it. I was gonna say unleash your inner artist, but We'll see what happens. So the crown molding is all painted white now. I decided not to do the middle one because I was so sick of painting. I just wanted to get my room somewhat together. I, I'll show you it. My dad stopped at the junkyard and picked up six pallets for my bed. Uh, he'll bring those home when he comes home from work, but it'll be on the pallets. I'm asleep right now. Here's my old bed. It's gonna be going in our guest bedroom again. And then I found this in the guest bedroom. It was in my room like a long time ago and it fits perfectly right there. And then I got this little lavender from Amazon. It's like dried lavender. So that's the bedding that I chose. There's Ernie being crazy pants. I, th I really just like the all white. Um, that little cheetah blanket I think is so cute. It was on Amazon for like 15 bucks and I thought it would just bring something to the bed. And then as you can see the um, side of my bed, you can't see any of the pallets. So we're going to cut a pallet in half and then like have a uh, little half pallets sticking out because I want to be able to see that my bed's on pallets. Otherwise it's like, Sticking on the ground. And now it's time for a segment called $40 DIYs. I started this DIY by using a stud finder to figure out the best place to drill and hold my shelves. I used my old shelves hardware and replaced the once white wood with a darker wood I stained myself with apple cider vinegar and steel wood. I drilled pilot holes to guide my drill and therefore easily drill my screws into the wall. After one shelf was up, I repeated this process to have another shelf above. To create my clothing rack, I used metal pipes and some connecting pieces my dad had in his shop. I screwed the pieces together, creating it the same length as my shelves. I again drilled pilot holes and drilled the rack in the same way I did the shelves. I decorated the shelves and hung up some cute clothes and ta-da! So we just went to Ikea and I picked up those two little wooden crates and then two plants, the hanging plant and the big um, fern, I think it's a fern, I don't know, I don't know plants, that goes in the corner. And we went to Ikea because their plants are really cheap, like that big plant was only $15 and normally they're like 60 So we got all of that stuff and then my mom got, she's a realtor so people obviously sell their furniture a lot or give away their furniture so she found this dresser because mine it looks big but the drawers are really shallow so we're gonna take her old dresser and put it in my room so all the furniture in my room like remodeling this it's all DIY or like vintage or given up to us or whatever so I didn't buy any new furniture I bought like supplies to make my little shelves and rack thing but 
actual furniture I didn't buy any so this is a really inexpensive major room like flip oh the rugs new but everything else isn't is that Katie? here's my new dresser we just stole out of the lady's house down there whatever works okay yeah. this is okay Okay. So this is my finished room. Starting over here, this is the um, dresser that my mom kind of like garbage picked from somebody who's moving. And then I have some little dinky stuff over here. This little area with a robot my dad made. My mom gave me this, an old San Pellegrino bottle with some eucalyptus. And then my TV, which isn't even plugged in. I wanted to take it down, but we're going to sell our house soon, so my dad said to leave it up. Then up here, I got this little crystal. I don't know what kind of crystal it is from an art shelf. We have this fake plant from TJ Maxx, and then this hanging basket that's from Ikea. And then moving down here, this uh, vanity is from my old, old, old room, and I put it back in. This is just a little suction cup thing. I can't do it. My mom got it from Amazon or something. We have all my sunglasses laying right there. And then when you open these drawers, it's just all my makeup and beauty stuff. We have my bed. I got my bedding off of Amazon. This um, little cheetah blankets from Amazon. And then my dad garbage picked these pallets from, I don't know where, the garbage. And we just bought my bed on it. And then these two little um, crates, I made them, they're from Ikea. Uh, and I just flipped one over to be a little table. And then up there we have dried lavender and I just got that off Amazon. And then the best part, this, my DIY. Um, so these little brackets, or I don't know what it's called, are from my old shelves and we just found a piece of wood that fit into them. And then the wood, I stained it to what color I wanted with steel wood and apple cider vinegar. And then I just put whatever I wanted up there. And then under it, we have this pole, this black pole my dad got, or he's feeding the pallet. But it's garbage, so he can. And um, we just screwed these little pieces together, screwed everything in, drilled everything into the wall. And then I just hanged the cute pieces that I want to display, try and be trendy and cute. And then I stick my shoes over here, and then right here we have this plant that's from, again, Ikea. I don't know what kind of plant that is. And then over here, we have a big thing of eucalyptus, and these smell like Michaels and Joanne fabrics, and I don't like the way they smell, but I think they look really cute. And then I don't like this thing, it's just old from school, and it's ugly. And that's the finished room. Oh, and this carpet. Rug. From Target. Okay. Thanks so much for watching my video. <laughs> Game.